Hi there, thanks for tuning into Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is positive relationship affirmation. I am ready to meet my special person. The one thing that I find in common with a lot of people in my coaching business is they're all saying a similar dialogue. They're all fed up with dating. They're not meeting somebody. They don't want to go on dating sites. They want to meet somebody organically or they just can't be bothered anymore because it's too much work. Well, the problem with that is that's the energy that you're putting out. Whether you believe in the law of attraction, affirmations, mantras, all those things in the spiritual world, it's always a good thing to practice and change up what isn't working for you. If you're having troubles meeting somebody, but that is your end goal, you really are looking for a partner. You have to change your dialogue and what is coming out of your thoughts, what's coming out of your verbal communication to other people. Every time you say, I'm not meeting somebody, I give up, what's the point? All those scenarios that stops you from meeting somebody because you're sabotaging it. You're sabotaging it because you don't believe it's going to happen. And whether you believe in, in the law of attraction or not, I always say, why not try it out? Just see if you can change up a few thoughts in your head that are keeping you stuck. I have some friends who manifest everything they want. They blow me away how easy it is for them because they see it. They actually visualize it happening for them. And while that can be really difficult for some people to do, I, I know I'm one of those, that it's really hard for me to sort of see it without it kind of being there. But if you train yourself to think that way, that, okay, I, I see myself walking down the park or holding hands with somebody that I'm really attracted to. Just start seeing that on a regular basis as opposed to what you're not seeing. I don't think a lot of people understand how much they do sabotage their own happiness without even really knowing it. If you have a positive mindset, as opposed to even the smallest of negative thoughts, good things will start coming towards you. But you have to believe you deserve it. You have to not be angry that it's not there. And this is what I'm finding with a lot of people right now is they're getting frustrated. And hey, I get it. It's, it's not fun dating anymore. It's really scary to have to go through everything you you got to do just to get onto one date and I understand that but change up how you think about it I'm going on a date tonight no matter what happens I'm going to have a great time it's going to be good put the, the right energy and don't sort of close your mind when you're going on a date here I go again it's not going to work out but I'll go change up I'm looking forward to this date this person is going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a really nice evening with them. And just start thinking that way. You really don't know sometimes how much your thoughts are, you know, sort of just stuffing everything away from happening for you. Because that's the way you're, you're not letting it come because you don't really want it to come or you don't think you deserve it to come to you. I think we've all either said it at one point or heard our friends say it, that there's no one out there. The men only want young girls. The girls are only into high maintenance, you know, desires. And so what ends up happening is you squash any chance of things coming your way because you've already said it's not going to happen. And that's where the problem lies. You you don't realize that sometimes the, the negative thought process is actually guiding you away from what you really do want because your other thoughts are so much stronger you're not going to get it it's not going to happen so why bother just try it for a little while have a really optimistic mindset every time you feel a negative you know something you want to say in a negative way stop yourself maybe talk to your friend say stop me if i do this don't judge somebody before you meet them let them come into your life and let them show you who they are before you tell them who they are in your own head. 
That's the problem with what's going on. And so when you go out on a date, you have a, a time that's not really great because you've already made up your mind that it's not going to be great. Change your belief system. It's not gonna happen overnight, but just change it. Why can't I be with somebody? Why can't I meet somebody special? Everybody deserves to have love in their life, including you, even if you are pushing it away and you're not understanding that you're doing that. In my own personal life, as a young, single, divorced mother, I just decided, you know what? I there's What guy's gonna wanna be with me when I've got a young kid? Who's gonna wanna be around me and take that on? So I sabotaged it for myself for a few years and then I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna take a breather put my energy into my job, into my son, and then once he's older, I'll revisit. And that's exactly what I did. I made a list of the six, seven things that were really important to me, kindness, humor, um, somebody who's active, all those kind of things were on the top list. And then I said, I am ready to receive love in my life. I am open and available to receive it. And I said this to myself at night, maybe, you know, probably for about a month I did, maybe four or five times a week. And within three months, I met my now husband. And yes, he was a friend of my brother's, so it made it kind of simple in some ways, but it doesn't mean it has to be difficult. It just means you meet them how you meet them, but be open and ready to meet them. And when you see yourself with somebody, I saw myself with my son walking me down the aisle at a second marriage. I visualized that a lot. It kept popping into my head. And that's exactly what happened. So my point in this video is be really true to yourself and own it. Are you being a little bit negative? Are you making judgment calls really quick with people? Are you sabotaging your own happiness because you don't believe it's going to happen or you don't believe you deserve it? I'm telling you, you do deserve it. The only thing that's going on right now and why it's not happening for you, you're not putting yourself in the right places for it to come to you and you're not in the right mindset with the right dialogue. Change up a few sentences change up your thinking. Don't just say it and then think, oh yeah, that's not going to happen. You've got to get both of them going in sync here. Quite often what can happen is we don't understand we are playing a little bit of a victim. We maybe had a really bad breakup where we're still dealing with getting over a divorce or, or we're lost the love of our life, uh, somebody cheated on us, whatever the situation is that made us sad or, or angry, we're holding on to that. And that causes a lot of problems and, and actually makes our life even more problematic because we're not letting go of it. We're not learning the lesson that we were supposed to learn. The minute that you start to understand why you are in a rut or why you're not meeting somebody or why you have a bit of a negative mindset, you can start to fix the problem. I am certainly not a manifesting experienced person, but I do know it works. If nothing else, just being optimistic in your thinking and having a really positive thought on a regular basis is just only going to benefit you. If nothing else, it's going to bring more great people towards you because they enjoy being around you because of your optimism and who you are. And that's just as important because sometimes when you least expect it is when you do meet someone. But you have to be ready and you have to shut off the negative thinking because it will keep repelling and repelling and repelling until you're ready to receive it. I want you to really know what it is you're looking for because that is another big issue. I've had many clients say, well, I want to be in a relationship, but I don't know exactly what type of person I want in my life. Be clear about what you want. Don't be high maintenance about it and have the huge checklist, but be clear about it is uh, what you want. Write down those 10 things that are really important to you. If you're unsure of how to be more assertive, join a group, some, something like a walking group. There's so many, we have tons in Vancouver. 
just go out and start ch chatting to people and try all these new, new ways of being all positive and see how it works for you. Just do some practicing here. And as I told you, you might meet some great people who have a, a brother or a sister or just a nice group of people that you can hang out with and eventually you will meet your special person. Get yourself out there. Don't get stuck at home on the couch because you you're, don't want to date, you're pissed off, you're fed up. Just get out there and believe you deserve it. Write something down and look at it every day. I promise you, you will feel better about yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe, please like the video, and leave any comments that you have. Any ideas or suggestions for other people would be really welcomed. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.